Hey everybody, it's BC here, and welcome to another episode of Space Engineers. And I'm just collecting a whole bunch of ice today, because I've been trying to hoard a bunch of, bunch of hydrogen. Uh, as you can see, I have been busy. I come in here sometimes, and I get into this area here, and I'm lost. I don't even know which way to go to get out of here. Kind of freaky at times, even though it's a small space. But today, I want to try to get some uh, beefier mining going, because this thing is... It's not the fastest in the world. It gets resources, but we're going to need a ton of resources. Uh, I put a few more of the conveyor ejectors on here. I put six of them on there, so it dumps it out a lot faster. Uh, but this is going to be the last load, because today I want to start getting a bit of a flying mining vessel. I've been trying to avoid flying because you need uh, either power or hydrogen to properly fly, or in order to get proper power, we need... Uranium, and we don't have uranium. No, not not here. I'm sure up there. Once we get up there, we will. But uh, yeah, I want to try to speed things up a little bit. Try to get some automated mining, so I don't have to be in there digging everything out. Uh, and I was looking at the drills that they have because they got drill blocks, and, and they're a little bigger than I thought they were. <laughs> I was actually expecting them to be sm sort of small, like the ore detector small block, but that wasn't the case. Is there anything left in here? I don't think so. Uh, ah, I'll be fine. I got the thing full. I'm lost. There it is. If I had some frames on, some plates on me, I put a frame up in the ceiling like I did with the iron mine. Get lost in that one too. It gets pretty big. And I got rid of the solar panel because that wasn't doing anything. So I just put a battery on here, and I'm gonna sacrifice the power cells whenever we need to. But uh, part of today's project is gonna be. Also including a charging station for, in particular, flying vehicles, because this vehicle is going to be a flyer. And so what we're going to do is we're going to run around back here. Whoa. Brakes on these things are terrible. Absolutely terrible. Well, yeah, same setup. Uh, you see the thing up there, uh, Tricorder had his... His uh, respawn pod up there, and he used it to fill up, and he actually moved himself down over by the cobalt. So we'll be seeing him from time to time. Might even be able to get him to give me a hand with some of these bigger projects. And we might be seeing a few more people on the server too. Uh, I have worked out some security issues, so uh, as long as it's okay with uh, the owner of the server, uh, then you'd be more than welcome to join us. I can send me a message on Steam or on Discord if you want, and we shall check you out. All right, let's get this powered back up and off the pad. And then we're going to go in the back. And I'm trying to think about where I want to get this charging station. And one of the things I didn't know about these connector blocks is they actually allow you to connect. Wrong button. Uh, big, large grid and small grid. And it's sort of like a docking port, sort of. And they have two different sizes for both grids so they can interconnect. And I want to sort of have a charging station coming off the hydrogen tank here because that's what we're going to be using is we chart using hydrogen so I'm gonna go back to well, I got the other bar filled up so let me get a few things on the bar and I'll be right back okay I'm back and tricorder's over there uh, he was on discord earlier I guess he was busy and I didn't wasn't able to talk or something uh, come on there we go so we're gonna go down like that we're gonna stick okay I guess we're just gonna put another one here I thought I was gonna be able to get another straight in there actually we will because as soon as I Get my handy dandy grinder out. I'm gonna take that block out. I also want to make sure that I have enough room to actually get in there. So I'm gonna have the conveyor come down. I'm gonna have to go down. Actually, no, I think it should be good here. So I'll have a, a straight going he here. I like how you just have to touch the conveyor and it connects. Now down here I do have to drill to get down, well, the drill's on one, and that's wrong button. But I'm just going to make a U and I'm going to put the connector at the end there and I'll bring you back when that's all done. Okay, this is what I got. So in theory, once you dock this thing it should hold the ship up, but then I'll have the thrusters running anyway, so it'll be charging up and uh, filling up at the same time. And I create a little area here for anybody who wants to use the area here for a starting location, I should, we'll say. Uh, at least we have a flat area to build a vehicle on. So I'm going to go ahead and actually go to the right hot bar here. And of course I took the block off because I was building the ramp. That's right. But that's one of the difficult things about trying to build anything is 
having to do it this way. But that's fine because it works. Now I do have to shrink it down so it stops snapping. Okay. And then uh, let's see here. No, do not kick it. Oh, this will be fun. Oh, they're going to hurt me. Maybe it is better to do it on the ground. All right, well, let's try it over here then. So what I want to do is I want to create a, a U shape, but I want to sort of have the weight all face at one end. Um, sort of say, uh, I think here. I'm going to do like this, like a U. About the same width, width as the vehicle. It doesn't have to be as wide. And just go along with it. So uh, I have been messing around again with like little controls and features that they have in the game and I did happen to notice that we can actually see centers of mass and I need more blocks Ugh. all right more plates why can I not jump there we go server lag server lag I blame server, la server lag on that okay and then we just go ahead and finish her up it doesn't have to be perfect it doesn't have to be that high either yeah, whatever. And then we start building up. And I'm thinking, because I don't, I'm gonna have the the connector and some ejectors on the bottom, but I want to have like some feet sticking down below. So I'll probably go one more block up, like so. We'll go back to this hot bar. And we'll start with the cockpit. We'll put the heavy uh, this end in on first. Like so, and hit the right button to go down, C not control, and then I'm thinking, I guess it doesn't really matter which way, tank would probably be heavier, I would assume, so we'll put the tank on first, and yes, this is a big boy, that is perfectly fine, so we'll do the tank, and we'll put the storage on the other, at the end, and I need interior plates. So I'm gonna go grab the interior plates and let me get those finished built. Or finish let me finish building those and I'll bring you back. Okay, here's what I got. I actually had to take it apart and put that together because I want the large conveyor openings on the bottom. Because I need to put uh, this thing down here. Uh, this thing even though it's a small block part, it's actually the size of a big part. Or a large grid part. Almost. Slightly different. Got to make sure that that ring's facing down too. Uh, I'm also going to be able to take advantage of those conveyor ports, steel plates, of course. Uh, let me get this in. Okay, it's time to do conveyors now. Uh, because of the, I'm using the hydrogen thrusters, they actually need conveyors to connect everything. And I'm going to be originally going to go with four, but I think I should go with six on this one, just on the bottom. And then I'll have a few on the top as well. So I'm actually going to go ahead and connect these two, just like so. Connect that, connect to the other side. And then I also got a before. Oh, you did that to me, didn't you? Of course, I gotta take that and rotate it. Not that it really matters, but I will, anyways. So uh, let me change that. Okay, that's better. So now we go back to uh, number two. And I like this because uh, not only is it a conveyor, but it's also a six-way conveyor, so you can basically build things the way you want. Uh, I do have to figure out where I'm going to put the drills on here, so we should probably grab those out. Did I have them on the other bar? No, I didn't. But I'll go ahead and put it, bring them out anyways. Now, these things are, all, like I said, are a lot bigger than I thought they were going to be. Signific significantly bigger. Now, I'll put that here. Now... This is actually that's a small version. That's the big version. Look at that. That's actually bigger than the ship I'm building right now. It's crazy. But these are the ones that I'm putting on. And they're pretty big. So I'm, I'm, I might have to adjust the thrusters somewhere else. But again, these have to be connected to the conveyors as well, which is why I had it connected to the storage. I'm going to be having a unified conveyor system. And it's not going to let me place because I need steel plates, of course. And some stuff starts with steel plates, some pl pl some stuff starts with uh, interior plates. Interior plates, st stainless steel plates, whatever. 
unable to place why not I'll have to put you right on the conveyor then uh, I do have to have a bit of a gap to get in so I'm thinking there now where is that conveyor so it's right there I can't go back that far I have to go there so we'll go back to one place like that like that and no that should actually be good right there get over that yeah, that's the one thing I can never understand about games is how when you're someone standing right up on a block they can't jump over it no matter how hard they try I always thought that was funny alright just like that Alright, I'll go ahead and put that drill back on. Now, where does that line up? Okay, that's good. We could probably come down a little bit with that, I think. Yeah, well, yeah, I'll bring it down one more. Just because we can. Nope, uh, wrong bar. There we go. Yes. So like so, go back to the two, put the three up there, and let's just have to see how this looks. That's the wrong tool for the job. You know, a number of times I pulled that thing out, I never actually tried using it. I think I did once on an armor block, but what did I need? I don't know. Uh, let me finish this up. Okay, there it is. Oh, actually, it looks pretty, uh, pretty mean. I know these things take a big, can do a pretty, have a pretty big area of effect. Actually, I covered it up. I uh, put one on the front of the rower to see how big it was and how well it worked. And even though it was a block off the ground, it still took a chunk out. It was quite something. So, anyways, uh, now we're gonna go ahead and we wanna get some thrusters on here. I also wanna keep them in a pl one in a place where they're not gonna cause any problems, and two actually. No, we're gonna do it this way. I uh, just remembered I gotta get my uh, ejectors on here too. And I think I'm gonna have the ejectors about the same height as that. I'm gonna do nine. I uh, checked uh, the block distance. Um, not the block distance, uh, comparison. Uh, the large blocks are small, small blocks. The large blocks are about five small blocks. So I'm gonna leave one gap in there. And so as long as I'm over top, it should be good. So I'm gonna do this. And like so, and I crouch down, and I'm gonna get ejectors on here. As long as I get to the right spot, like that. Come on, there we go. That's a matter. Of, there we go. Uh, that should be facing the right way, I do believe. I hope so. Mm -hmm. And like so. So you get the idea. I'm gonna finish this up on the other side and then uh, bring it back when it's time to get some legs or something on this thing okay there it is and I apologize for being dark it's a half hour day so I go on takes me 10-15 minutes to do some work and next thing you know it's night again but it should be up pretty soon so now we gotta fi I gotta figure out where I want to have these thrusters uh, let's go ahead and bring up the center of mass um, you can do this by going into your info here and show center of mass and that will show the exact center of the mass and it just happens to be right here and that's for each individual grid so if I had a wheel it would show the grid of a wheel I can actually show you that over here so as you can see it shows each individual grid uh, the yellow lines I'm just assuming are uh, the original coordinates in the asset editor that's the only thing I can think of but yeah so that is that so the center of mass is more or less right here so what I should be doing is I should be having thrusters here, but because I have these here, I can't unless I unless I stick them in here, which could do that. Uh, the only thing I have to watch out for is there's um, thrusters do cause damage, so we gotta keep that in mind. And I also have to have one up front. I don't want, don't want to have it too close to the drills, so maybe you know it's a little like to try to get this up in space too if I can so we'll go with two on uh, top and bottom so I'm thinking hmm oh I guess while we're here we'll stick the battery down here I was planning on doing that 
I don't know if I should have it that close or that far away from the uh, that, that close to the end I should say I'm gonna go here go nine and probably right there should do it and I need power cells of course all right well let me figure out where I'm gonna get the thrusters on and I'll bring you back for the okay it's actually the next day for me I uh, was up late last night helping proxy move in he's uh, set up where is he it's right there I got uh, there we go fully visible so he's over there I was helping him out for a few hours getting him set up all that stuff but what I've done and as you can see, I went ahead and finished it all. Let me get off the jet back here and save my fuel. Uh, so I've got two thrusters on both sides for the strafing side to side. I've got four gyroscopes on here, so I'm not too worried about turning. I've got four on the bottom. I'm hoping it's going to lift it off the ground. And four on the top, just because I do want to try to get this thing into space if it's possible. I highly doubt it. And then I got the four on the back for thrust. And I have two in the front for braking, which I'm hoping it's going to be enough. If not, I'll have to reconfigure things a little bit uh, put a spotlight in the front there and I have two ore detectors now the question is if, the, if this thing actually gonna fly uh, we won't know until I get some starter fuel in it so I gotta throw a H2O2 generator on top and get some ice popping into this thing just like so so I'm gonna do that I'm gonna get some sort of fuel in here and I'll bring you back when it's time to see if I've wasted a lot of materials in my another life no, oh, it seems Tricorder's online. He's up there working on his ship up there. That is good. Uh, I'd actually need to find some ice, so I'll be right back. Okay, I'm waiting around for the sun to come up, and it's just about there. Uh, I was thinking about how to take this down. I think the best way to do it is to hop in the seat. We'll turn on the power. Uh, actually, I should be able to just hit the fly and turn everything on. I do believe. Let me get out of here. Uh, thrusters need to be on. I do have hydrogen, I got about a third of the tank. I do have them all grouped. Okay, drills are off, unloads off. All right, so now we get out. I'm uh, doing this so it doesn't drop down, hopefully. This could kill me. It, who knows, we'll find out. Oh my God, it flies. I don't believe it. Alright, uh, I put the gyroscopes on too for the, the mouse steering. Uh, it's a little tricky to get used to at first, especially in third person. Let me see if I can zoom out a little bit, because now i got to try to dock. First time flying, oh yes. Hey. It's going to be tricky. I might have to actually install a camera on this thing. Uh, a little front heavy, but that's okay. And I think there I should be able to shift over. Uh, I'm starting to realize too, I might get a little too close to the base of the thrusters. Uh, yeah, let's see here. And back up. And I should just be able to go down. Oh wait, it's a C to go down. Oh, I'm so used to having the camera move. Noob, noob flyer, mm, all the way, and it doesn't want to connect, why not? Uh, did I destroy something? There we go. Aha! Look, a little tricky to get to, but it worked. Let's see if I damaged anything. Oh, so far, so good. Oh, I must have hit this pretty hard. I'll fix that up while that's filling up. That should be filling up automatically. I'm hoping it is. It's actually... Can't access it. Oh yeah, we can. Of course we can. Alright, and... Uh, different colors are different ships. I think the orange... Yeah, the orange is the base. The dark orange is tricolor ship. And I'm looking for my hydrogen tank. Oh, hydrogen tank too. Why is it not filling? There we go. Stockpile. Well, so that's pulling uh, this tank here, which should be nice and full for now. That is good. 
All right, so uh, I'll bring you back when it's time to take this thing out for a spin. Okay, we are ready. Oh, what happened here? Uh, thrusters, battery. Oh, yeah, uh, I picked stockpile off of that tank. It wants to hold the fuel. All right, let's go check this thing out. 15 hours of flight time. Nice. So he found some iron over here. I want to see if I can find it. You can see where he's set up on the left there. This is cool. This is actually working. Sorry, first time building something that actually flies in this game. I expect it to be a disaster. Rubble and wreckage everywhere. Well, that's cool. Uh, he had an iron deposit over here somewhere. I want to see if we can find that because I don't want to open up the other one right now because everybody's using it. So I'll bring you back when I find uh, some ground to break. Okay, I've got a new iron cut open up. I'm just filling up hydrogen right now. Uh, oh, what happened here? Oh, it's a uh, tricorder. He's building stuff on his ship. Oh, he just disconnected. That's what happened. All right, so uh, we are done. So we'll turn stock off so I can actually fly this thing. All right, and let's uh, get that out of my hand. We'll get back into the cockpit. Oh, it's the other side. And we'll head off. And it's a good thing I have a light because it's dark now. All right, so now i got to get my view back to normal. And there we go. Uh, let's see if we can turn that spotlight on too. Kind of dark. I thought it'd be on by now. That could be better. Could be better. All right, let's go check this thing out. See how it works. Hopefully, the fuel lasts a little longer. I had to take about half the thrusters off, and it seems to be working okay. I don't have any on the top, so that's what I'm kind of worried about. So now the question is: A, am I gonna fit? And B, am I gonna kill myself? That's, uh, that's not what I want to do. I want to zoom in a little bit more. So I dug a pretty big hole here. Probably should have waited till daytime to do this. But now the question is, am I actually going to fit down there? Things a little bit bigger than I thought it would be. Actually, see if this is gonna fit in there or not. I don't think it will. Oh, it will. I don't know why it wasn't going backwards. Just wanted to keep going down. Uh, oh, probably because I don't have enough thrust to actually do it. Oh my god, I'm not gonna get out of here. Oh, that's just too funny. That's just too funny. I gotta put more thrusters on this thing, I think. Anyway, let's see if we can actually. Ah. Uh, Learn the hard way, right? And I'm upside down, of course. Hooray. Oh, this is fun. Uh, hmm. Uh, let me uh, figure this out. Let's see what I'm going to do, because apparently I can't do nothing now. Okay, let's try this again. I actually had some... Uh, the thrusters left over from before. So do I go down or do I go up? I have no idea what I'm supposed to be doing here. To get out of here. I gotta wiggle myself out, I think. There we go. Why are you not going forward? Oh, V is light apparently. Alright, what is going on here? Something breaks, something stuck. I think I know what I gotta do. I gotta go this way. And if I can get out of here, unless the parking the uh, line of gear grabbed, and I don't think they did. Yeah, I'm like wedged right in here. Let me see if we can get out. Alright, it is working pretty good. Sorta, I can barely get out of here, but it works. 
Uh, the good thing is these drills take out a lot of minerals, and I'm stuck. Ha ha ha. Okay, today is definitely a learning day. Uh, turns out that inventories do have mass. My keyboard again. Ugh. Uh, but yeah, uh, needless to say, it was fine getting in the hole, and then I uh, tried to get out, and yeah, no matter what I tried, even with the extra thrusters on, it wasn't enough, I'm sure. Now that's empty, because I've been running trips back and forth, trying to clear it out, but I got 40, f geez, like 45 tons of iron out of this, but needless to say, this thing won't actually get off the ground under its own accord when, with a full load. So, yeah, definitely something not to be done on in an atmosphere so but we'll have to look at something else next time but in the meantime I do have plenty of iron uh, that's gonna have to sit there I'll have to fill it up and fly it out and the stupid keyboard hang on let's try that sometimes bang and it helps never thought I'd actually overuse a keyboard but needless to say this is the last of the iron that I pulled out of there, and it was actually a fair amount, and I'm actually curious to see what I got in here. Let's go look in the old assembler, go to the refinery and see what we got. Where are you wrong? Let's hide empty inventories. 36,000. That's not bad. I wonder if any got pushed through. Well, it's not in the assembler. But that's not bad. It's something that definitely makes up for all the building that we've been doing around here lately. I you proxy a bunch of stuff. Tricorder's been doing his thing. He took a ship somewhere. I don't know what happened or where he is, but he had a bit of an incident too. So anyways, I'm going to call the episode here. I think uh, maybe next episode I'll see if I can try to get myself up there. Maybe uh, educate myself a little more of the thrusters and what works and what doesn't in this game. But anyways, until then, I thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave me a like, and I'll see you in the next one. Later.